Hi everyone, you are on Moby channel and I'm glad to see you on my channel again. Today is Monday, June 24th and as it turned out the information from my last video with the date of episode 75 was confirmed and today this wonderful and unusual episode was released. I'll be honest, this episode was a breath of fresh air for me, even though it has a bit of a sad plot. And even though I know this won't be the first analysis you'll see on YouTube, I still want to point out the details I noticed and give you my opinion on this episode and its characters. But before we start please hit the subscribe button and give this video a like, and also join my discord server, because that's where all the newest leaks of your favorite skibbity toilet universes appear, but anyway we're starting. I'm not going to go into great detail and write off every action of the character, backing it up with my comments. After all, judging by the views, viewers on YouTube have evolved and now understand what is depicted in the video. Based on the plot of episode 74, we can understand that the Alliance is now in a losing position, because all the Titans have left the battlefield, and the Titan cameraman is unknown whether he survived or not. And those agents who stayed in the battle and didn't manage to teleport are now fighting for their lives. And that's exactly what this episode demonstrates. The Skibbity Toilets are also in a lose-lose situation now, because they are also now just wandering around somewhere in the street hoping to find some shelter to give G-Toilet a new body. But now back to the Alliance. He's had these difficulties before, when Titan TV Man was badly damaged in episode 47, Titan Cameraman was in the improvement phase, and Titan Speaker Man was infected with the Skibbity Parasite. But in spite of that they did not lose heart as much as they do now, because they had a Plungerman who led the Alliance. And now, as you know, he's gone. Now the main enemy of both sides are the Astro Toilets and as we can see in this episode, they are destroying both the Alliance and the Skibbity Toilets with ease and without any compassion. One of the main strong opponents in this episode is the mini Astro Juggernaut. He spots a small squad of surviving agents and sets out to destroy them. The mini Astro Juggernaut is incredibly strong and was able to easily destroy half of the Alliance's squad with minimal damage. But still the Alliance was able to do some damage to him. Next, when it looked like the POV operator was about to be destroyed, Juggernaut is attacked by a Skibbity Spider, but he is quite unusual, as he is wearing a soldier's protective helmet. It does an impressive amount of damage to him, and the Juggernaut continues the fight again. As it turned out, this Skibbity Spider wasn't the only one. The Juggernaut was also attacked by another Skibbity Soldier. Let's write an F in the comments for this Skibbity Soldier who was protecting our POV cameraman. Next, the Skibbity Hybrid enters the fray and it's still hard to see him here. The POV cameraman also joins the fight and so they, working together, together manage to destroy this strongest enemy. And what was my surprise when I saw that under the mask of mini Astro Juggernaut was a dog. It seems that Astro Toilets originally started using dogs as their defenders. Then we see a very interesting shot, because here Commander Cameraman stands next to Skibbity Soldier and they are not fighting, they stand together calmly and do not even plan to attack each other. Then we are shown the Skibbity Hybrid in more detail and again I was surprised, because it turned out to be a girl. And it's quite pretty. I immediately had a theory that scientists tried to create super soldiers, but for this it was necessary to combine them with Skibbity Toilet. Because as you can tell from this lady's behavior, she's not going to attack any Alliance agents either. She also took some part from Mini Astro Juggernaut, and Commander Cameraman got on Skibbity Spider and they led the surviving agents to the exit. But they couldn't get away quietly, because the Astro Juggernaut found them, and he was very upset when he saw that his little Astro puppy had been destroyed. POV Cameraman managed to run to the exit, but then they had to go pretty fast and so Skibbity Girl took POV Cameraman and they flew together to the camp of adequate hybrids like herself. But the Astro Juggernaut was so thoroughly pissed off that he even blew up absolutely the entire building the agents were in. And the explosion was so big that the blast wave threw our main characters of this episode off. But do not worry, because if you watch the episode to the end, you know that they all survived and the Skibbity Soldier has already made friends with the Commander Cameraman, because he gave the Skibbity Soldier a cigarette and now they both smoke. And if anything, I don't approve of smoking, because it's bad for your health. I don't smoke and you don't smoke. But then at the end of the episode we see the POV cameraman thanking the Skibbity girl for saving him, but she didn't show him a like, just nodded her head slightly. And she can be understood, because before they were feuding with the Alliance, but now they are saving them and it's not quite usual for them. And I also have a theory that agents used to be violent destroyers, 
and just in order to fight them they created skibbity super soldiers, but that's just my theory again. Also that's not all I want to tell you about, because throughout the episode you can see a computer chair appearing in the frame from time to time and you can also see a secret agent in two places in this episode. Well, it looks like the secret agent's plan to unite the alliance and the skibbity toilet is slowly coming to fruition and I wouldn't be surprised if in the future it turns out to have been planned by a secret agent. Well, write your theories in the comments, because despite all the details that I noticed in this episode, in time we will start to notice something else and also in one of my next videos I will tell you my theories about the next episode and season 25 in general.